We have now processed some oxidation and reduction reactions by looking at a combination example when sodium combined with chlorine to produce table salt. We then did a second example of a combustion taking a simple hydrocarbon such as methane and combusting it to form carbon dioxide and water. In this next example, we're going to look at the oxidation of metals by acids. Really, this is nothing more than a familiar pattern called a single displacement or single replacement. We have an element reacting with a compound. The element in this example will be magnesium and the compound will be hydrochloric acid. Taking a little piece of magnesium ribbon and dropping it into acid and watching the displacement where hydrogen gas will bubble out of solution. Let's look at this familiar format, this equation. Labeling the substances that were oxidized and reduced, we'll find the oxidizing and reducing agents and work towards that net ionic equation. So in our notepad page, let's begin with the molecular equation of taking magnesium ribbon, which is in a solid form, reacting it with hydrochloric acid, which is aqueous. It is indeed one of our seven strong acids, so I know it will dissociate. Aqueous ions will form when I go to my ionic equation. Remember the pattern of change? Magnesium is strong enough to displace the hydrogen in our compound. We had something called the activity series in our first year chemistry. And we would know that magnesium is higher up on that activity series, making it more active or strong enough to displace the hydrogen. And so when it does, molecular hydrogen gas will form and going into solution now is magnesium chloride, MgCl2 based on charge, which will indeed be aqueous. This also is a strong electrolyte. It's an ionic salt. Any water soluble salt is a strong electrolyte and it will dissociate. Solid magnesium, aqueous hydrochloric acid, gaseous hydrogen, and aqueous magnesium chloride. Let's work to quickly balance this. We'll need to double the HCl to create a balanced equation. Well, let's begin by dissociating. We have magnesium solid, no charge. It's uh, assigned an oxidation state of zero. It's an atom of magnesium. Any element found in its natural state is assigned an oxidation number of zero. Here, however, we have a strong acid, so it's therefore a strong electrolyte, so it will dissociate. We have two aqueous ions of hydrogen, AQ, and two aqueous ions of chloride. So I broke apart the strong electrolyte, the strong acid, HCl. Of course, now we have two monoatomic ions, the oxidation number of hydrogen, a plus one, and the oxidation state of the chloride ion, a minus one. And we have our arrow. We have the gaseous molecular form of hydrogen, H2. Here's an element found in its natural state, so its oxidation number is indeed zero. And we have this strong electrolyte, a water-soluble salt ionic compounds. So we're going to dissociate the magnesium ion, AQ, and the two aqueous ions of chloride, two Cl negative AQ. So again, here now we have two aqueous ions, so the oxidation state of this monoatomic ion matches their charge. Magnesium's charge of plus two and chloride's charge of minus one. Let's eliminate the spectators and see what we have. We have chlorides, and that's it, isn't it? Now to be a spectator, it has to appear exactly the same on the left and the right side of our arrow. Magnesium on the left is a zero. Magnesium on the right is now charged with a plus two. Therefore, they are indeed different and will not be eliminated. Hydrogen started as a plus one and went to the molecular form of zero. Notice how indeed we have a change of charge. So let's write that net ionic equation. We have solid magnesium 
reacting with two aqueous hydrogen ions, forming molecular hydrogen in the gaseous form, and now in solution is the magnesium ion aqueous, carrying a plus two charge. Notice how we can assign the oxidation and reduction half reactions. Magnesium started at zero, went to a plus two. Becoming more positive is our oxidation half reaction, the Leo of our Leo Ger. Loss of electrons oxidation. Hydrogen went from a plus one to a zero. It is becoming reduced. Gaining electrons reduction, the Ger part of our half reaction. So identify magnesium was oxidized and therefore it is called the reducing agent. The reducing agent, magnesium solid. The aqueous hydrogen ions was reduced and therefore they are the oxidizing agents. A very familiar pattern of single replacement now under the larger category called redox reactions. Metals undergo oxidation by placing them in an acid. We also know other categories of single replacement reactions. I don't have to place a metal into an acid to have a reaction. I can replace that metal into any salt as long as the activity series says the re that the metal is strong enough or more active enough, the reaction will indeed occur. Now let's take a peek at yet another single replacement reaction by taking iron metal and reacting it with nickel 2 nitrate. We've checked the activity series and indeed this reaction will occur. Iron is more active than nickel. And let's work this example out just as we did with the previous. Here we have iron metal, so iron written as Fe and it's in the solid state. We're placing that in with a solution of nickel 2 nitrate. So nickel hooked to the polyatomic nitrate carrying that plus two charge. So, And the little solution sign will be AQ. Pattern of change, single replacement, iron will indeed displace the nickel and they exchange their place. So now we have solid nickel in its elemental form and iron will go with its plus two charge going into solution making it aqueous. So this equation will come out balanced as written. Elemental form of iron going to the aqueous iron nitrate. Now let's take a peek at assigning oxidation numbers. Are we getting the idea that nitrate here will be the spectator? Any element in its natural state? Well let's just go ahead and remind ourselves. This is a strong electrolyte. The aqueous ionic compounds always dissociate. The elemental forms are assigned as zero. The oxidation number of any element in its natural form is zero. Nickel here is a plus two. Iron here is now a plus two. So here we have solid iron with aqueous nickel carrying a plus two oxidation number, forming nickel in its natural state assigned a zero, and iron now with its plus two charge, aqueous. Notice what's changed. Iron started at zero, went to a plus two. There's the Leo, the oxidation half reaction. Becoming more positive is losing electrons oxidation. Nickel went from plus two to a zero. Here is the Ger of our half reactions, gaining electrons becoming more negative. And notice how I immediately just crossed off the nitrates knowing that nitrate, the polyatomic ion nitrate, is the spectator. So I just wrote it 
uh, in the first reaction and eliminated the spectator in the second reaction and came up with our net ionic equation. So the metallic form of iron, solid, was oxidized. And therefore, we know it's the reducing agent. The term agent is telling me it forced the other reactant of nickel to be reduced. The aqueous ion of nickel was reduced, Daisy. And therefore, it is labeled as the oxidizing agent. We saw the change of charge in our single replacement reaction, making it fall under this new category that we're learning called the redox reactions. Now in single replacement reactions, we're very familiar with having to check something known as the activity series. I hope you still have yours from first year chemistry, but if not, I can certainly make sure you have one. We will always need to check first if the reaction occurs. That activity series lists from the strongest of strong metals down to the weakest, and we just check to make sure the reaction indeed will go. So they're listed in order of decreasing ease of oxidation. So any metal on the list can be oxidized by the elements below it. You try it. And just assume this one will go. If you don't have your activity series, I did not put an example into the notepad that does not occur. I wanted us to practice the redox form of a single replacement. You should pause your video, work through the iron 2 chloride being oxidized by magnesium, assume the reaction occurs, the answer is yes it will go, and I want you to write the net ionic equation and identify what was oxidized and reduced and list the agents. Welcome back. Let's check your work. Here we had iron 2 chloride, FeCl2, in solution so we know it's aqueous, being oxidized by the element magnesium. Magnesium in its natural form is a solid. Magnesium is indeed strong enough to displace the iron, so it's the magnesium kicking out the iron, forming the elemental form of iron, and in solution now, magnesium chloride. So here's the aqueous form here, and this guy will now be a solid. So the two metals exchanging places. Chloride, I can t uh, tell, will be the spectator ion. Iron started as a plus two. Magnesium was the elemental form, so assigned a zero. On the product side, now it's iron in the elemental form, so it's assigned a zero. Magnesium is hooked by charge, so it is now a plus two. So here is my balanced molecular equation. If you've properly identified chloride as the spectator and eliminated it, this is what your net ionic equation looks like. The aqueous ion of iron reacting with metallic magnesium, forming metallic iron, and the aqueous ion of magnesium. Iron went from plus two to a zero. It is being reduced. Gaining electrons makes it become more negative. Magnesium started at zero, went to a plus two. It is being oxidized. Losing electrons makes it become more positive. So we've identified our two half reactions, the oxidation and reduction. The aqueous ion of iron was reduced. And therefore we know it is called the oxidizing agent. Metallic magnesium, the elemental form of magnesium, was oxidized and therefore it is called the reducing agent. If you had that perfect, put yourself an A++ on your notepad paper. It just feels good. One more where it says you try it. Which of the following metals will be oxidized by lead nitrate? 
you check your activity series and who is stronger who's higher than lead on the activity series is zinc higher how about copper how about iron simply list the ones that are higher on your activity series and you've correctly answered the last question there you try it